working in theoretical computer science and there we have to solve the principal question which problems we can solve by computer programs and which we cannot solve. This is a very interesting field which was opened 70 years ago by Alan Turing who presented the first examples of problems where we do not have programs which can solve them. And even if we have a program, then there is the question whether we can use it in practice. So it may be that we have to wait too long for a result. And this leads us to the question of complexity. We have to think whether we have to work more on the program or whether the problem is so complex, so difficult, that we cannot have efficient solutions. I'm interested in the correctness of programs and in methods that allow to be sure that a program is correct. That means it satisfies the requirements which are given. Usually uh, one tries this with tests and looks at the program behavior in many single cases, but this is not a method which will give you the precise answer to the question whether under all circumstances the program is correct. And here we develop methods not only for uh, checking whether a given program is correct, but also to have methods which allow to build, to design in an automatic way, a program which is then correct by construction. The focus of uh, my work is on programs which are reactive and they do not terminate. So they are in constant interaction with the environment. And uh, such control systems, communication systems, they are used everywhere in, uh, for instance, in airplanes, in control systems for airplanes, in control systems for nuclear plants. And for instance, in my own research, we have looked at the problem of managing uh, huge networks of mobile objects like mobile phones. So to make sure that if there is a desire to have a communication, that the management of this network allows to build up this communication without delay. Game theory is a theory which uh, develops models for the interaction of several agents, players, and in my field, uh, the players are, for instance, the control system and the environment, the users, the human users, which may be non-cooperative, cooperative, hostile. And the system should work under any of such conditions. And so these two components, the system and the users, they play a game. The requirements they define when the system wins the game. And what we do in our research is to build winning strategies for the system given the requirement to make sure that under all actions of the environment, the users, the system will produce a run, a play, which satisfies the requirement. 